What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here for another Tottenham update. The transfer window is less than a week away from closing, and still nothing has happened. And do you think anything is oh, going to happen? Oh, is a massive, deal. <laughs> massive deal to West Brom. But yeah, look, it's no surprise that um, it's been a very quiet window. It's, mm. That was very much anticipated. And with your know, club struggling with uh, funds, with no fans in the stadium, you can't really hold it against clubs if they're willing to, if they're just going to not put too much risk in this window and go with what they've got because it's a weird season for everyone, isn't it? So I think it's not, it's no surprise. Yeah. And, and it's quite evident from the Amazon documentary that we don't really, really like the January chance window anyway. Steve no. Hitchin kind of hates it, doesn't hates he? Hates it. He <laughs> hates it. It's the worst time of year, he says. Um, but I understand why, because, you know, you, you when you get to January, you're just trying to um, fix the issues you've had in that season. You're not looking to build for the future. And unless an opportunity like Bergvine comes forward where he's young, he's got a potential to grow and he's at a good price, <clears throat> it's very unlikely you're going to get many deals that are good for your club in the long term. Yeah. Um, all right. We've got an update from Dan Kilpatrick today on Delhi Alley, and he says Tottenham are still reluctant to let Delhi Alley join PSG on loan. Daniel Levy is concerned about losing a talented member of the squad with the difficulty of finding a replacement. PSG are in contact with Spurs over a potential move for Delhi Alley, but the deal remains difficult. Um, this follows on kind of a lot of reports over the last couple of days. Well, Romano had a big one yesterday. Yeah, from Romano, from Ali Gold, all saying that PSG are really pushing for the deal, but not really likely because of Tottenham's stance. Romano went even as far as to say the, the deal uh, between PSG and Spurs is just in its, it's in its final stages. It's just waiting on Levy for the go-ahead. and it'll, but, but apparently, yeah, we're not going to release him unless we find a replacement. So you know it doesn't the, look like it's going to happen, this one. Yeah, you know the whole thing about getting a replacement in for the next for the remainder of the season? It I doesn't mean, make sense to me. Do, do we really need one? Because he hasn't even, he hasn't even, like featured at all this season so but what's the difference there's a few it's a bit perplexing that um that uh, that but we're looking for a replacement before we let him go because first of all do they need to be homegrown or not if we're only letting Dali Deli Ali go for six months with no option to buy which means he's very likely to come back in the summer what are we just getting a loan for six months to replace him and also yeah do we even need to replace him because he's barely featured and we've got Lacelso to come back from injury as well so it's all very perplexing that mm. I, but I kind of understand that we don't want to leave the squad short so letting someone with Deli Ali's quality go um, without replacing him is always a bit of a risk but um, I just I just find it a bit perplexing the yeah, fact that we that strange. we're it is strange but it could not be him go without replacement in yeah but it could be just like media talk without actually knowing much what's going on behind the scenes it could be but if it is true I am kind of happy in that sense that we are not that we are looking to get a replacement because um, if uh, in seasons gone by we would have um, done this deal w without it and fans would have complained that we're leaving the squad short and stuff so at least he's thinking of the squad would you prefer to bring in like a direct replacement for Deli Ali, or would you prefer to bring in like a centre back with that space, let's say space in the squad? We don't know. If we did yeah, this I, one. yeah, it doesn't. That's not replacing Deli, though, is it? So what's the what's the difference? That's Why what I'm saying. But fill the the bigger hole in the squad, kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would, if we, I think I would probably replace him with a, um, a centre mid. Like, uh, like a so spring, part yeah. to, uh, no, I mean, a, a Sabitzer, I mean. Oh, would I go for it? I think at the moment, because we've got Hoybier and Winks battling it out for that spot, but we could do with a bit with someone else. The probably, thing is, you know? I don't think Winks, Winks is, is more suited to the other role, to the Sissoko role. He's not more suited to the Hoybier role, so we yeah. don't really have anyone fighting Hoybier for that role. No, that's, that's also true. Which is a big, which is a problem. So I might look for a reinforcement there, but that's not what we're doing. I think we're looking for someone. Yeah, who's but I'm saying, what would you prefer? What would yeah, you I'd prefer a centre mid. Yeah, yeah, I'd prefer a centre mid for sure, or um, a centre back. Yeah, and also what what's the only name that's been linked with us is Christian Eriksen, right? It's been widely reported that Conte wants to get rid of him, Inter Milan wants to get rid of him, the president clearly wants to get rid of him. Yeah, Director Proppels came out and said that he def he's definitely leaving this window. Exactly, and obviously there was this feisty Milan derby last night in feisty. the cup. Bloody hell, what a game that was. And you had Lukaku and Zlatan going head to head. Uh, you had, Are you backing in a fight between Lukaku and Zlatan? Ooh, I'm always backing Zlatan. Zlatan for I'm sure. Black Zlatan. Bell karate. He'll do some <laughs> weird, crazy move. Like for sure, knock knock Lukaku yeah. out. Yeah. Dead, dead. I'm 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 backing Zlatan for sure. I agree but um, Christian Eriksen comes on, scores a 97th minute free kick. 
Um, peach, by rolled the way. back the years, Christian Eriksen. Absolute peach Absolutely free kick. Absolutely brilliant free kick. Wins the derby for them. And after the game, Antonio Conte comes out and says, Christian Eriksen will stay here at Inter. He's not leaving because we're not signing any player, so we won't let him leave the club. I'm so happy for his goal. Do you reckon that's just a bit of um, talk to kind of get his price up? We said that about Skriniar, didn't we? Yeah, and, uh, true. And, and look true. what happened. Yeah, yeah, that's and look true. what happened. That's true. The alien budge. So um, Conte also, I read another quote saying he um, he's continually said that there's not going to be much room in this window and people keep wanting to sell our players and no one believes me but when I say... The president. Yeah. Well, no, the director. I don't know if the president. Director of football, yeah. yeah. Um, I think they both said something, to be fair. But. Yeah, the president might have also said something. But um, he said, no one believes me when I say there's not going to be any activity. But maybe I'm starting to believe you now. There is not long to go to the end of the window. And it doesn't seem like they're budging on the wages issue. It doesn't seem like they're budging on the loan fee for Spurs anyway. So I think, yeah, he was pretty much be the only guy in my head who whom, whom we might bring in to replace Delhi. Um but even that seems a long shot at the moment. So it seems like there's going to be a standstill in all these transfers. Mm. Um, all right, let's move on to the mirror. And this is another one that could be a potential replacement for Delhi Alley. But they say Munchen Gladbach's midfielder Florian Norhaus. If I've butchered that name, please let me know in the comments. And he says um, with Florian is on Tottenham's potential list of replacements for Deli Ali. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen much of him. No, I haven't. Is he a young is he a young player? I know I've seen a bit of Gladbach, but I haven't seen much of him personally. Yeah, I haven't seen him to be honest, so I'm not too sure. He's twenty three years old. Uh, I think he's a regular fixture in the Gladbach team. I mean, a young German player. I mean I'm not against it. He's played started seventeen games this season. So he's clearly uh, a bit a big fixture for a Gladbach team who've done quite well this season. Mm. They're definitely, especially in uh, you know, the, in um, in the Bundesliga, they're competing near the top. So, I mean, I don't see again. I don't see this happening now. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't see anything. Happening yeah, I don't now. see anything happening now. But you never um, know in the future. But I'd rather a Sabitzer. Yeah. Um, let's move on. I've got this last one. This is from Ali Gold, obviously the goat of Tottenham transfers. And I don't know. We didn't actually bring this story to you, but in the last week or so, or the last couple, couple of days, yeah, last couple, couple of days, of days um, some media outlets were reporting us, uh, were linking us to Angel Di Maria. Lequip, more specifically. Uh, yeah, that was it to um, to replace Deli Ali. But Ali Gold has poured cold water on it as he likes to do mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, and he says Angel Di Maria is not a player who has been discussed by Tottenham as a potential target i mean the way the weather's going in london at the moment angel di maria ain't gonna like it in definitely England, not <laughs> definitely not i don't think he wants to return to england also i've read reports that he might even be looking to extend his contract so whether this is a classic case of what get player, linked, yeah, i know he's a great player but whether it's a classic case of um get linked with spurs to improve your contract it's a common shtick we've seen many many <laughs> times and so it is a classic that um agents like to use um so i never believed this from the get-go uh definitely not now we're definitely not going to sign him in january 100 percent. even in the summer he turns 33 next month um he's older than gareth bell so i mean for sure we're not going to have him and gareth bell on the wages there on the, in the same squad that's guaranteed if we let go of bell could we bring him in maybe but even then i think if we let go of bell we'll probably look for a younger player if look, looking more to the future i don't think we're going to sign um a 33 year old on big wages and well, hope and who's failed in the premier league before I yeah, can't well, I mean, see that. Ali Gold has said he's not a player being, even being discussed, never mind uh, anything yeah. other than that. Well, so. the, yeah, well, the only thing is jo he, Jose had him under at Madrid, didn't he? And he was great under Jose. Um, he even played him at centre mid a bit, I remember, in a 4-3-3. He, uh, he was actually quite good in that role. Um, but it never stuck to me like this deal was ever going to be anything realistic. So I'm not surprised that Ali Gold has confirmed that um, this is a non-starter. Um, and look, of course, would it, if Di Maria came to Spurs, is it something I would be excited about? Oh, I would love it. But I would be, but it's not. But it doesn't scream of a club building for the future. Yeah, maybe not building for the future, but be building for the here and now. This guy's top quality, you know? He's had a bit of a dip this season, though. Yeah. He has, but um, the last couple of years, he's always getting goals. The number of times he gets on the score sheet is brilliant. Yeah, I think the past three years, pretty much since he's been at PSG, when since he left United, he's been top quality. No doubt, look, he's a great player. Even at United, I thought he was top quality. Underrated at United. He, he was like one of the top assisters in the league, even though yeah. he had a awful time mm. and, uh, you know, he was shipped out. He just didn't out. like the weather. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and, oh, yeah, he just didn't like Manchester, which I don't blame him. But um, I think this one was never going to be a starter. And he'll go, he'll go somewhere... 
Uh, not he won't come to us. I think he'll go somewhere. I different. reckon he could go to somewhere like Juve or somewhere like that. You know, I still, he can still be in a top club. Yeah, no doubt. I'm yeah, no, not doubting that. I just don't think um, he's right fit for us at the moment. Mm. I don't think he's coming back to England again. No. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the last bit of news today. As Tottenham released a fourth strip, uh, very reminiscent of the Nike Air Max ninety fives. I'll bring it to you on screen now. Um, what do you make out of this kit? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I, I don't really like it. That I much. hate it. I think it's horrible. You think it's horrible? I think it's I'm definitely not buying it. I, th I think it's absolutely horrible. I really do. I mean, like grey, black, like three different shades. I mean, I just don't like it's it. It's been an odd time to bring out a new kit. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if we're ever going to wear it. Well, we must wear it if we bring it out now. <laughs> must wear it at some point. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't make any sense otherwise. I mean, what was it for? Is it a special kit I mean, or something? I think Liverpool and Chelsea have also brought out a kit today. And it's also uh, are they also of some are they also Nike. Nike? Yeah, some Nike. So it's, it's some Nike campaign, that obviously, that they're doing. Uh, basically, we're in. Oh, great. Nike has paid us a lot of money uh, to sponsor them, so we're sponsoring them. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Maybe if you're anything to get a few more coffers in, while well, uh, the fans are out of the stadiums, they're not going to um, hold that against Levy. So. Fair play. Let us know what you think of the kits. Uh, me and Ben aren't a fan at the moment. Yeah. Well, anyway, exactly. Let us know what you think of this new fourth strip, the new Nike Air Max kit. Uh, but yeah, that is the, the news that we brought you today. We spoke about Deli Ali, Christian Eriksen, and a few other bits and pieces. Let me know in the comment section below any thoughts regarding any of those matters. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come, come on, on, you Spurs. Spurs.